much did they drink? He's, he claimed she drank four to five sips. A Dixie cup full of not juice or water, a mixed tequila drink served to five and six year olds. How did she feel? Um, she's feel like a little woozy. She's a little dizzy when we went in, in there with the principal. We asked her, was she okay? How did she feel? She said a little dizzy. These parents puzzled, understandable. Their daughters given Jose Cuervo margaritas they thought was juiced by a fellow kindergartner Thursday at Grand River Academy in Livonia at snack time. She said the girl poured it in her cup and she drank it and then the girl ended up telling her what it was. So she went to the teacher and told the teacher that is liquor in this cup and the teacher gave her like a funny face. It turned out to be a single serve pre-mixed drink like this. The little girl brought it to school in her backpack. I had a small conversation with my daughter about it, not nothing big, and she told me that the girl knew that it was liquor. Parents are obviously angry over what happened, directing some of that anger to school officials here at Grand River Academy, asking, wondering, how could this have been prevented? The school released a statement to us saying in part, while we try to keep an eye on everything our students bring to school, that's simply not possible. It's unfortunate that these types of adult beverages can be easily mistaken for child friendly drinks, end quote. They also called Poison Control, who said to give the kids water and crackers. I'm not sure if they short staffed or whatever, but you know, it shouldn't have happened. The five kindergartners who drank the tequila were all okay. The school tells parents in a letter home they'll dole out discipline to the student who served them. But these moms say it's the parents that need the punishing. If your child know what it is, there's nothing wrong with it, but they should know not to touch it as well. They should know that it's, it's not for kids. Reporting in Livonia, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.